Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is the two sneaky numbers of Digitville. In the town of Digitville, there was a list of numbers called nums given to us as input containing the integers from 0 to n minus 1, where n is the length of this input array nums. Each number was supposed to appear exactly once in the list. However, two mischievous numbers sneaked in an additional time, making the list longer than usual. Now we are the detective of this town and our task is to find these two sneaky numbers. We have to return an array of size 2 containing the two numbers in any order, so peace can return to the town of Digitville. So we are given nums and the numbers have to be 0 and 1 and these two digits appeared one more time again each, making the whole list size as 4. So the output is always going to be 2 here and here and these two numbers are repeating twice so we return those as the output. Again in this case the original numbers have to be from 0 through 3 both inclusive which has to take these spaces only 4 spaces but two numbers have repeated twice and what are those two numbers 3 and 2 so we return those two as the output. So again here also 4 and 5 are repeating twice. So to solve this question we have to keep track of each digit how many times they are appearing and once we have the count we have to check the digits which have count equal to 2 and those digits we have to place them in the output. Coming to the function given to us this is the function name and we are given the input array nums and the output is an integer array and it is mentioned that we have to return an array of size 2. So first let's declare the output. I am going to name it sneaky numbers and this output size is equal to 2. Now we have to find the count of every digit right. So let's take an array to store the count. I'm going to name it count and this will be of the length of the input array nums. Now let's iterate through the input array nums from starting index until the end so that we can access one digit at a time. So starting index i is equal to 0 and we iterate until the end of the nums array. Now let's increment the count. So I take this array and we have to increment the count of that particular digit we are iterating through. So what is the digit we are iterating? So it is nums of i and in that respective position we increment the count. And we have to check if the count of this particular digit is equal to 2. So if count of the current number by iterating that is nums of i. If this count is equal to 2, it means this current digit nums of i has to be added inside the sneaky numbers. So sneaky numbers the size is always going to be 2. So I take an index and use this index variable to insert elements inside the sneaky index array. So sneaky numbers of this index. So index is now 0. So we insert at the 0th index position inside this output array. And what is this? It is going to be nums of i. And for the next iteration, we are going to increment index for adding the last element inside the result. We know if index is equal to 2, it means it is going out of bounds and there is no need to insert anything because we already found the output. So as soon as index position becomes true, we don't have to iterate further. We can break out of the for loop and finally return our output sneaky numbers. Now let's try to run the code. The test case are being accepted. Let's submit the code and our solution is accepted. So let's take this example. We iterate through all the elements. We see that phi appeared here and 5 appeared here, 4 appeared here and 4 appeared here. So when you finish iterating these elements, you already have the output and index will now be here outside that is at index position 2. So that is when we break. There is no need to check these two elements because by the time you iterated through these elements, you already found the output. So that is why we are checking as soon as we filled the output elements which is of size 2, we can break and return it as the output. So the time complexity of this approach is big of n because we are iterating through the array from starting index until the end where n is the length of the input array nums. And the space complexity is also big of n because we are using an array of size of the input nums array to store the count of every digit we are iterating through inside this nums array. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.